in this video we are going to install oracle database 26 ai that is the latest database which is based on the ai and basically this 26 ai brings the ai to your data and makes it simple to power uh, your application development and mission critical workload with ai and basically this will replace the older database that is the uh, your 23 ai which is earlier we have used and uh, first thing is that uh, we are going to install this rpm based on the linux so for that i have installed this uh, linux that is the oracle linux 9.5 let me check the version you can see it is upgraded to 9.6 and before that we need to install i mean download this all this rpm related package so you can refer this page and you can see there is a different uh, 26 ai version for the respective operating system like oracle linux 8 9 like that so the, as my linux version is that is 9.6 so we can go ahead to download this one that is oracle linux 9 related package you can see here free database 26 ai okay and this is based on the uh, i mean uh, oracle linux 9 so i already downloaded this file let me show you so if you check here i already downloaded this file and if you check the bo hyphen sh i think not this one let me check this directory i have downloaded this latest version of uh, ai database that is 26 ai you can see here the size around like 1.3 gb or something so let me go ahead to install this oracle database 26 ai so i have documented all the steps you can see here it's similar like 23 ai so first thing is that we need to install the uh, that is the pre-installed packages for the 26 ai because it will uh, create automatically this oracle user and group and all the kernel related package it will download and install so first thing is that uh, we need to install this pre-installed package for the 26a before that we need to search like whether this package is available or not so i have some command you can use dnf search oracle then grab the oracle and pre-installed package the 26 should become otherwise you need to refresh this dnf like dnf uh, update something okay so you can see here the first line uh, this this one this one represent the 26 ai pre-installed packages okay so after that so after that we are going to install that package if it is available on the repo dnf-y and your package name that is 26 ai the size is around very little like that four kb now it, the installation is completed you can see here so after that we are going to install this uh, database that is this one this rpm so for that we can use this command dnf-y install let me clear the screen We are getting some error. Let me check what is the errors. We are getting some error. Let me check this one. So I debug that issue basically I previously installed 23a so that's why it is conflicting with 26a so I need to unconfigure the previous database 
so for that I you can see the screen like I unconfigured this database first you can see I am trying to uninstall the package but since the database 23a previously installed so that's why it asks to delete this database you can see here in this step I already deleted this older database that is 23a and after that uh, I uninstalled the packages related to 23a the like dnf remove your package name that is the 23a so let me go ahead to install i mean configure this 26 this is the latest version okay. so let me install this one now we can see now it's showing ok and it is going to install this one you can see here 26 ai started to install it will take a couple of seconds i think you can see the installation size is around like 3.6 gb it will take a couple of seconds now it is installing the package of 26 ai database So now the installation is completed you can see here it is showing like completed 26 AI and then we can configure this database in the next step okay so this configuration script basically create the uh, database name whose name is like free with this pluggable database that is free pdb1 and respectively it will configure this listener which is listening on 1521 port number okay so you can manually edit this file this is the configuration file otherwise you can directly use this command that is which is, which is available inside it is init.d okay so let me clear this screen and we are going to configure and create one database that is a free database which is based on 26 ai it will ask for the password so I can give the password confirm the password then it will create the listeners and create the database you can pass this parameter to a parameter file and automate all these things but uh, i go with this manual procedure now it is copying the database files it will complete like seven percent completed database creation is ongoing now it's completed almost 30 percent we can wait a couple of seconds Now it's completing this database creation almost 50% completed. Now we can see almost it is 100% completed. This Oracle uh, latest version that is the 26A. So now we can check the installation path. So basically, the you can see the installation path is like. Uh, the same like 23a let me check this path opt oracle product we can check this path this hyphen l your path you can see one directory is created like 26a so let me switch to oracle user issue hyphen oracle let me clear the screen you can see the installation is completed so now you can switch to oracle user and configure this database home directory it is not mandatory but it's better so that when you execute the sql plus command that time it will not ask for this path so let me clear the screen and switch to oracle user now I switch to Oracle user and let me edit this path I mean environment variable yeah earlier uh, I used this 23 let me replace with uh, 26 
I think all these things remain same like DB home everything is same so we can go ahead but this set this file and run that file using this one so let me try to invoke that database using SQL plus root versus DBA now you can see it is connected to 26 AI so this is based on this one and you can see all these things and we can check few things so pdbs you can see one pdb is there like three pdb one and if you want to connect it remotely uh, we can use this one to connect it remotely let me try using that one using sql plus sql plus one second let me copy this command sql plus then sys then your password then your ip address let me pick the ip address yeah so let me get this ip address IPA, you can see this ip address is 207 i have one yeah and this is my sql client which is installed on the window host so let me check this sql plus commands it locks for the username the client version is like 19 let me try to connect with my server version that is 26 so for that you need to use this command but you need to replace your uh, remote machine ip address so i pick my remote machine ip like 207 you can see here 207 so you need to replace this one let me try to connect yeah so now you can see it is connected to your remote database 26 ai and you can use the same command to pdbs you can get the all the details okay? so in this way we are uh, installing the 26 ai database on uh, oracle linux 9.6 if you already installed 23 we need to re I, mean, I mean you need to remove first then you need to install otherwise you, you are getting some error so we covered all these things thanks everyone